Hi, this is Tamara from MooglyBlog.com and in this video I'd like to show you the invisible decrease. Now usually when you decrease in a pattern with single crochets, you'll do a single crochet two together. Sometimes the pattern will have you skip a stitch to work your decrease. This one is a little different and this one works particularly well for things like amigurumi or things where you're only going to be working from one side. However, it does work back and forth in rows and here I will show you, I've got a couple rows of single crochet already made and now I'm going to work an invisible decrease. What I want to do is decrease over the next two stitches. So I will take the hook, insert it under the front loop only of the next stitch and then without yarning over, I'm going to angle it down so I can insert it under the front loop only of the stitch after that. So at this point, I've got three loops on the hook. I'm going to yarn over, pull through two of those loops, the two front loops essentially. And then I'm going to yarn over again and finish my single crochet. And that's an invisible decrease, invisible decrease with single crochet. Let's do it one more time. I'm going to insert my hook under the front loop only of the next stitch without yarning over. I will insert it under the front loop only of the stitch after that, yarn over, pull through two loops, one, two, then yarn over and pull through the last two loops. And that is the invisible decrease with single crochet. Let me take a couple stitches here and I'll show you how it works with double crochet. Okay, now let's turn and we'll start a row of double crochet. Um, you can start a row of double crochet however your pattern calls for. That was the chainless double crochet. I'm going to take a couple stitches here just to get our row established. Okay, and now let's do the invisible decrease with a double crochet. What I'm going to do is yarn over just like I normally would for a double crochet. And then from here, just like before, I go under the front loop only of the next stitch, then the front loop only of the stitch after that, yarn over, pull through those two, and then complete it just like a regular double crochet. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Work normal double crochets after that. And that's the invisible decrease with double crochet. The rest of the stitches are worked pretty much the same. Yarn over if you normally would, don't yarn over. But it's under, going under those front loops of those two stitches and then working through them as one that creates the invisible decrease. Thanks for watching.